The first thing you need to do to put horsehair braid in the hem of your skirt is to get your supplies. I already have my two skirt pieces here sewn together, right sides together, and the seams finished so that it's ready to go. For your horsehair braid, you wanna measure the full length of your hem all the way around and cut your horsehair braid to be that same length plus two inches. You also need two pieces of bias tape to be a little bit longer than the width of your horsehair braid. I'm using two inch wide horsehair braid and so my bias tape bits are cut to about three inches. So the first thing we need to do is enclose the short raw edge of the horsehair because once we cut it, it can get frayed and it can get really sharp little pokey bits. And so you wanna have that covered up. So you're gonna take your little piece of double hold bias tape and line it up so that the center of your piece of fabric is aligned with the center of the short edge of your horsehair braid. And you're gonna stitch along that very first crease line right there. The next thing you're gonna do is gonna look a little tricky if you've never done it before, but once you try it, I promise it's actually a lot easier than it looks and it's gonna fully enclose both the horsehair and it's gonna enclose the short raw edges of your bias tape really nicely. If you look at the way the double fold bias tape is, you have the first crease line that we stitched along and I used a contrasting thread there to make it really easy for you to see. The second crease line is right at the center and then we have a third crease line. You're gonna fold your bias tape on that third crease line. Then you're not gonna fold the center crease. You're gonna lift it and press the whole thing with your finger away like that, right along that seam line there. So from this side, it would look like that. Then instead of folding it over the edge of the horsehair, you're actually going to fold it on that center crease line back over itself so that you're now aligning that fold you were pinching with that seam line right there. You now have your bias tape kind of accordion folded, but it's all on this side of the horsehair. None of the bias is on that side of the horsehair. And now you're going to stitch, but not along the and here, you're gonna stitch up here and on this side. And you wanna stitch that about 1 8th of an inch away from the edge of your horsehair. So now it's gonna look like that. You can see where I stitched that, and I just um, did a back stitch at the end of each one of those so it really locks it down. And I'm going to trim off all this excess here and right there, and I'm gonna trim my loose threads. All right, so it's all cleaned up there like that now. And now we're going to enclose that edge right there by taking the bias tape that we just sewed and we're gonna flip it up and over the horsehair. If you need to, you can use um, like a little, I use my the tip of my scissors just gently to make sure it's kind of poked out right there so that it's all nice and neat inside the bias tape. And now we're going to top stitch that down right across there to secure it. And there we go. Now you can see that that short raw edge of the horsehair is totally enclosed. It won't fray and it's not gonna be sharp and pokey. You wanna repeat all of that with the opposite short end of your horsehair so that both short ends of it are completely enclosed and then it's ready to sew into your skirt. Now we are going to sew the horsehair onto the skirt and you are gonna sew the horsehair onto the right side of your skirt. Make sure you have the right side of your skirt facing up. I like to start with the edge of the horsehair just past the side seam of the skirt, not on top of it, because between the seam of the skirt and then the edge of each end of the horsehair, that gets to be really thick. And so if you do just a little bit past your side seam, it's just gonna make it so that all of that's gonna lay just a little bit flatter once we start folding it up. You're gonna sew your horsehair to the skirt with a quarter inch seam allowance.
and you're just gonna sew all the way around. You can pin it around to begin or clip it if you want, but I like to just feed it as I go. I already know that I cut it a little bit longer than what I need, so I just kind of line it up and feed it as I go. The important thing is you wanna be sure that you are not stretching the horsehair braid as you sew. So as you approach where you started, it'll look like this, and you're just gonna lay that down right over where you started and just let it overlap. You don't have to leave this much. It can be a little bit shorter. It's really just up to you. But you're going to lay it down like that, and then you're going to finish sewing right over the top. So it'll look like that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this over to your ironing board, and you're going to flip the horsehair away from the skirt like that and then flipping your skirt over so that you have the wrong side of your skirt facing up you'll take your horsehair and fold it to the wrong side you can see that that's going to fully enclose that raw edge of your skirt and you're going to press and pin or clip all the way around your skirt like that one note about pressing it is that you don't want to iron too much directly on your horsehair, and if you are, you want to have your heat pretty low. You don't want to risk melting it. What I like to do is just use my fingers to press it this way. And then once I fold it this way, I just like to use the tip of my iron along the fabric itself. I don't press directly onto the horsehair. Now you're ready to finish your hem. When you do your hem, you're going to stitch right along the edge of the horsehair. You aren't going to stitch down here on the folded fabric. You wanna stitch up here, right along the edge of the horsehair itself. Now that's done, you're gonna take it over to your ironing board and you're gonna press the whole hem of your skirt from the right side of your skirt. And now your horsehair braid hem is done and you are ready to finish out the rest of your pattern.